the yoga clap. Welcome back, people. So, uh, you know, if I was about to start YouTube and I didn't have any, well, so I don't have friends, and if I was about to start YouTube, uh, I would probably, and I knew someone like Ace, I'd go up to Ace and say, Ace, man, look, I'm, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to make a living off it. Uh, you make videos for a living. What should I do on my YouTube channel? So how should I start it up? What, what equipment, what camera should I buy? Oh, okay. I was just going to say you've just got to make friends with you. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> well, that, okay. that is an important part of it. So we're going to come to that. So that's what we're going to talk okay. about today. We're going to take Ace's angle on what he thinks a new YouTuber should be doing. And I'll give my own thoughts on it. I'll give him the advice before. But I'm interested to hear it from Ace's perspective from, a, from the other end. So hang around and check okay. that out. I'm putting pressure he's on rubbing this. himself against the window right now. Tokyo <laughs> Tower is just outside there, and he's kind of disgusting, actually. I'm yeah. uncomfortable. Kind of phallic. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I, look, I, I, I want, I, I want to, I'm, I'm committing. I want to make vlogs. I have a message. I want to tell the world. What camera should I buy? And, and you know, you've made a YouTube series, and you were really popular. What should I do? What are the lessons that you've learned? How would you recommend me starting up as a, as a commercial? How do I make videos like you? And, but I'm a new guy, and I don't know okay. anything about it. I, <laughs> I get this question all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, get a camera. Get a camera. Yeah. Should I get, get like a? a camera. What, what camera should I get? Seriously, I, I'm serious when I say that. Just get any camera. Any camera. Any camera you can afford. I, I, I said this in one of the previous ones, and I, excuses are the biggest killer of creativity. Sure. You, all you need is a camera, right? You can do it. And something which records sound. Yeah. Um, okay, if Separately? you... Separately? If you really... No, no so I So you would recommend a sound recorder and a camera? I, I prefer, actually... Well, you don't well, want an inbuilt camera. Point. Like, for instance, if you were to use your iPhone, yeah. which you can use your iPhone to make a video. Yeah. Um, I would not recommend that you use the camera and built there. You do want to get some kind of microphone that plugs in. This is, you know what, this is excellent advice because I would never give that advice. But here's the thing, when I was in Australia over Christmas and I shot selfie videos, a couple of selfie vlogs in Australia using the front facing camera and I looked at it and the picture looks great. Hey, I can shoot with this. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera up against something. I think something. I saw one of these. And the sound on them was shit and everybody was coming on and saying, dude, yeah. your sound. And it didn't even occur to me once in the entire time that the, that the sound on these is going to be terrible and un, un, unacceptable. And we don't. Oh, all I think about is the camera and does it look good enough. But it's great that you come off the mark. I would never give that advice. But this is, I go back and I think, oh, if only I had like one of those thin zoom recorders or something like that, that I could record the sound separately and mix it up so I have good sound and no one complains about it. But your advice off the, off the bat is to have that. And you know what? If I could go back, I, I, I wish you could have given advice to, that advice to me when I started. People don't forgive sound, bad sound, do they? They, 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 they really forgive don't. bad camera shots. Every video I, I get comments. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years well, now. Okay, I never you, learned. You talk about specific equipment. Yeah. Um, if you, the easiest way yeah. is actually to get something like a Zoom recorder. Yeah, now, I've got one of those. You're talking about four or five hundred bucks, something like that. Yeah. Um, I think also... You know the way in Anna Gaijin I always have the, the boom mic thing there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I hate that. Yeah. But... It looks like you're attacking people. People don't really care. Yeah. As long as they, you, they can hear me talking and that other person talking, they yeah. don't really care. Maybe it's becoming a bit of a signature, like the glasses. Who knows? But, you know, as long as you get good sound. So the Zoom recorder thing is really, really cool. It's very easy to use. Um, just push yeah. record and you're just holding it here and... If you are doing the, um, if you're holding the camera, you can hold the camera as yeah. well. Yeah. It's no problem at all. So I think, you know, quite frankly, that might be my next purchase, <laughs> actually, to get one of those. You can get the super thin portable ones as well, which are yeah. really good. And they've got USB, so you can use it for a home setup as well. It can record live sound as well. Yeah. Um, I use it, I use it to do my narration on the Hennigaijin videos as well. Um, oh. That's actually the, the main use I use it for. But, um, yeah, I mean, any kind of equipment that you can get, that's the first place, surely. Yeah, yeah. And just whatever your budget is, buy the equipment. Any camera, but be good with sound is your advice there. On so, the yeah, I, well, 
get something dedicated to sound. Yeah. And quick, quick, quickly, in one minute or less, okay. uh, you got the equipment, and in terms of what's your advice for people who are making videos, when, who are starting out, what's your, what, do, you have any, do you have any ideas or any tips based on... Sorry, on equipment? Uh, on making videos. So the, to get your camera, get your sound, okay. and... Plan, yeah. plan, plan, write, rewrite. Um, when you get out there, you've got a roadmap. Um, that's that's what I think. I love this because this I, I this is a this is not advice that I give or that anyone I know gives or that anyone ever gave me. It's left field for me, but it makes complete but sense. But what it does, it actually gives you the freedom. You think that it's it's constricting you. It's not. It gives you freedom because you go out there and you know exactly what you're looking for. And then if I see this over here, I can go over there and get it and the full knowledge that I've got everything I need over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can come back. You can always come back. The other thing that I would like to say, don't have okay. too much longer, about 10 seconds, is that um, when you're in the, the editing, mm. I think, personally, spend time on editing. <sighs> spend time oh. on editing. It helps. And, yeah. you know, make yourself better by learning something new. Yeah. Well, learn your software, definitely. I mean, you know, let's, let's see. Let's see if... Let's see if... Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna find out. Find out. I have no. Let's see if he goes. Let's see if he Does any editing on this? Because if he does, if he does, if he does, then you won't have just heard his real name. Real name. Yeah. Well, so the advice I always give, but I get the same question. Um, it's almost the polar opposite, although I think everything you said makes sense and everything actually, I'm thinking, yeah, actually, I should do that. Here's what I always say. The best advice I ever got was um, uh, apparently some famous silent film actress uh, apparently gave the advice once that whenever you arrive on a movie set, the first person you, you screw on the set is the, light, the lighting guy. Uh, yeah. Get, 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 make sure you can have any... You, you can have any type of camera. You can, you can forgive any type of camera provided you're, you're well lit enough. You can get away with any camera. But if you've got crappy lighting, then you know a bad camera will, that's will show up. That's good advice, actually. That was that's that's Tokyo Kuni advice, and that was good advice, and I followed that. So I always say to people yeah. like just when I'm doing the two and a half or whatever, I guess, I say, look, have a headphone, have a laptop, and just put a lamp behind the camera. So you're looking, it'll feel weird looking directly into a lamp, but trust me, it, it, it'll make it work. Well, yeah, when you do the video, yeah. go and look at it again. Figure Watch out, your own videos. Figure out yeah. what it is that you could do better. Yeah. I mean, surely that's that's what you do in anything mm -hmm. in life if you want to get better at something. And so the, the other tips that I give, um, oh, they always say, "What sort of camera should I buy?" And I'll say, "Well, okay, you can get away with it with a with a iPhone or or a webcam if you've got good enough lighting." Um, in terms of what everyone's buying, uh, people love the GoPros. They're super flexible. They got wide angle. They're easy to self shoot with. Uh, Cheap. If you want to go cheap, get a GoPro. If you want to go, but what everyone's getting nowadays are the mirrorless cameras or whatever with the interchangeable lenses. They take beautiful video. So get one of those if you've got the budget for it. But that's anywhere between five hundred thousand dollars. I never mention sound. I say when you're making videos, I, I say uh, make them topics that you're interested in because if you're trying to follow trends, you'll lose motivation. Um, also make videos at the frequency that you'll be able to sustainably make videos because it's. Uh, having regularity is very important uh, for YouTube. People who subscribe, they want to know that you're going to make videos in a stable manner. That's why they, they want yeah. to see you in the feed. So if, if you can only make a video once every two weeks, when you're in the beginning, you've got lots of energy, you'll make like three videos a week. That's great, but you won't be able to do that all the way through the Sustainability. year. Sustainability. So yeah, you want, to, you want to think about a better pace. You want to think, when will I be least motivated during the year, like during Christmas or vacations? And, and what's the pace I could maintain even at the bottom times? And do that. Um, I keep make the content what you like. Uh, don't be patient with the subscribers and appreciate your subscribers. Comment back on comments. Yeah. Comment on other people's videos so that you're interacting with other people. Uh, show people appreciation. Um, you notice the way he looked at me when he said comment on other people's videos. I don't do it myself. He always comments on mine, I say it, but, but I, I don't do it. I don't. I've commented on his about once or twice. I don't do it myself. I don't, I don't have as much time to watch videos but as I used to. But if you want to be successful, some. yeah. I mean, YouTubers are the biggest supporters of other YouTubers and they're the most likely to comment. And it's because they want comments back, honestly. So, you yeah. know, be nice to other people. They'll be nice to you. It's just, YouTube is primarily a social network. That's how it started out. And you can't forget, just because you're making good quality videos, if you forget the social thing, you've just got nice looking videos with no views on them. And there's a lot of those on YouTube. 
So primarily, it's about getting people to watch and appreciate, and, and that's Com about the interaction. Comments thing. are like arms. We've all got them. Let's wrap Let's them around each other. Hug. Okay. Yeah. I'm comfortable. I'm com uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. We're going to try to do some more episodes. We're rapidly running. All these things are too long, but this is this is awesome advice. And there's some really good points I haven't thought about. So, okay. We've got another episode next week. Maybe if we have time. Okay. So, peace. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. We're going to do we have enough time for one more.